Hey folks, Pat here from DNS. This Madison area fishing report is current as of December 23rd. Uh, boy, I tell you what, it is chilly out today. Uh, coming into work, I think I saw 11 below. I, I guess the wind chill is has, has at 35 below, so uh, not a lot of folks out fishing. Uh, rightfully so, it's not even really safe to be outside right now. So um, that cold snap is going to be making some ice, and I just want to stress that you know when we do these reports here, um, they're for current conditions as of today's date. Uh, with this cold weather, obviously ice conditions are going to be changing pretty rapidly. Um, places that have a little bit of ice today could have great ice in a couple days. So uh, if, if you have any questions um, beyond this report and want to call the shop, you can give us a call here at 608-241-4225 and we can do our best to tell you at least what we know or at least what we hear is going on around town. So uh, feel free to do that. Um, speaking of the shop, uh, we will be uh, closing tomorrow, Christmas Eve, uh, Friday, or I'm sorry, Saturday. Uh, we will be closing at 2 p.m. So we'll be open from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then we will be closed all day, Christmas Day, the 25th, but open again at 6 a.m. on Monday, the 26th. Um, one thing I wanted to give a quick plug to, um, of course, you all know about Lake Link. Um, well, probably know about Lake Link and they have their fishing reports. It can actually uh, be a good resource for um, ice conditions, especially. Um, uh, I don't feel like it's as popular as it was back in the day. I think it, a lot of people accuse it of blowing out a lot of spots, but it is it is a decent um, place to get uh, ice reports for sure. Uh, I'm not associated with them at all, but a uh, person I am associated with is uh, Dan Small, and on the Lake Link site, they post his um, Dan Small Outdoors Radio. Uh, Dan calls me every other week or so, and, and we chat about uh, the Madison chain, but he does that for different parts of the state and talks about hunting and fishing and all things outdoors, has different folks on. And, and on the Lake Link site here, they have, you know, his show archives. Uh, this week's show had a uh, kind of a cool interview with our very own Jim Kasuda, who was talking about, um, well, he did an on, From the Ice uh, interview so, uh, while he was catching some bluegills out there. So kind of cool. Of course, you might remember Dan from Outdoor Wisconsin when he did that show on PBS. Um, I know as a kid, I n almost never missed that show. I, I, my life literally revolved around it. Um, so it's an honor to work with Dan. And yeah, just wanted to plug his radio show. You can also look it up wherever you get podcasts too. I think he's on a lot of different platforms there. And his show also airs on something like 20 some odd radio stations around Wisconsin and, and the Midwest. So uh, I'm honored to be a part of that. Just wanted to plug it. Um, also a couple little shop things, got a bunch of cool plastics in. Um, you know, everybody makes a wedgie, everybody makes a, a little minnow shape, but I went through a lot of the different companies and picked out uh, some super buggy looking plastics that I think will be great. Uh, and some that frankly people, uh, you know, here at the shop requested, uh, one of those being the chigger fry from Panfish Plastics. These guys are out of Northern Wisconsin somewhere. I can't remember, but um, really cool looking little buggy plastic. I uh, got it in a bunch of colors here. Uh, Drastic Plastics out of Milwaukee makes a, a, a little plastic called their bone bug. Looks awesome in the water. Um, and then uh, BY Baits is out of Muscaday, Wisconsin. So just west of here. And uh, they have a couple cool looking shapes that I picked up. So um, swing in, check them out here at the shop. Uh, Noah Humfeld, I announced that we're doing a partnership with Noah on making some videos for his shop talk series. So we're going to be doing coming up here a, a panfish plastics um, video. So we'll be featuring a lot of these in the water tube and showing you how they look underwater, but they look great, um, all of them. Uh, and also wanted to announce that uh, I'm carrying a finicky fooler. Um, this one's their hook setter model. So what this is, is uh, you put a rod in here and you can rig the line up and you can rig it up as a tip up where the flag pops up and the line free spools out, or you can rig it up as a hook setting device, um, sort of like a jaw jacker or automatic fisherman, you know, those things. Um, so anyway, uh, it's a cool thing. Um, and I, uh, produced here in Wisconsin and just wanted to let everybody know that we're carrying those now on to the report uh, so you know we haven't had a lot of ice until just very recently uh, this bitter cold is um, something you're gonna want to be careful with but it's also gonna produce a lot of ice um, so 
looking forward to having a lot more ice around the chain. But um, right now, a lot of not a lot of folks fishing because it's uh, just so darn cold. But um, Cherokee up here uh, has walkable ice right now, at least five to six inches out there. I'd steer clear of the channel out here. That seems like there's, no matter how cold it gets, it seems like there's always areas that never quite cap over. But um, down here along shore, you're going to see a lot of folks out there. They've been getting some bluegills, uh, occasional crappie, and uh, some decent tip-up action down there, as is uh, typical for Cherokee. Um, down to 113 Bridge, not much going on down there, even though there's current through there that uh, is capped over right now and hard to fish. Uh, down here to Lake Mendota, of course, everybody's excited about ice. Um, Warner Bay capped over the other day. Uh, as of last night, it was capped over about uh, maybe two-thirds, I guess you could say. Um, I don't know where it sits this morning, but um, I know the wind and... Uh, that has been keeping the center of Lake Mendota open. I know when I drove by, it was dark when I came into work this morning, but uh, a lot of steam coming off the lake, lake still, so that'll tell you that there's still open water out there. Um, but I, I have heard areas like uh, Marshall Park and um, Spring Harbor have iced over. Not sure about University Bay, but uh, if, you, if you head out on the big lake, just be careful. You know, there's... Um, the ice is going to be sketchy, but and it won't be far away. All we need is one, with these cold temperatures, all we need is one calm night, and that'll lock right up, and then it'll be go time out there. Uh, Lake Monona uh, is iced over, as best I can tell. I drove by yesterday, and it looked iced over to me. Uh, I doubt that ice is very safe. Uh, if you do try to get out, please use caution. Uh, Monona Bay, they've been out on for at least a week now. Um, the ice there, you know, for several days was really just at two, three inches, the triangles even less, you know, less than two inches, but I heard about some folks getting out there. Um, I imagine some of that ice now is, is, is thicker. So, um, I'm, I don't have any exact reports, but, um, I'm sure there's folks fishing Monona Bay today, or well, maybe not today cause it's so cold, but th there's going to be ice fishable ice here on Monona Bay and the triangles here in the next couple of days. So looking forward to that. Lake Wingra also heard that that was capped over and some folks were getting out on there. A lot of tiny gills in there. But some opportunities for some decent crappie, perch, um, pike, and bass in there. Uh, muskies are in there too. I, I guess I wouldn't try to target them with a tip up, but um, and that season's coming to a short close here pretty quick. Uh, anyway, um, heard about Squaw Bay having some folks on. Uh, of course, there's some current that comes through here with the river dumping out there, so you're just going to want to uh, be be careful over there. Um, and I guess that's about it for Monona. That, that's all I know. Um, Mud Lake, I've heard about some folks walking out uh, from the county access here, where you, you can park over here and, and walk down the path to get out. I don't know what the ice conditions are like, but uh, like I said, we're making ice quick now with this uh, below zero temperatures. Um, heard about some folks headed to Lake Farm. Haven't heard back from them, uh, but um, I, I imagine there's ice up there. I did hear about some folks fishing the South Bay down here and getting a few bluegills. Um, haven't heard much out of Wabisa otherwise, but that, that's been capped over for a couple days now. Uh, same with Kiganza. Don't know anything about the ice conditions, but, uh, now that it's capped over, I'm sure it's making ice pretty fast out there. But again, can't stress this enough. Please, please, please be careful out there. Kashkanang, same thing. I heard it's capped over. Don't know what the ice conditions are like in the main lake. I have heard about, uh, some folks fishing in some of these, uh, you know, back bays down here. Uh, and getting some getting some fish, uh, nothing hot and heavy or, or shattering to report. Uh, I don't know much about the river, but I imagine boat travel in there is pretty tough after this um, after this cold snap and uh, shelf dealing with shelf ice. Uh, same thing up on the Wisconsin River. Not much happening in the way of um, fishing up there. I have heard um, on Lake Wisconsin uh, some folks doing pretty well on the fingers over here by Harmony Grove uh, earlier in the week when the ice was sketchy. I imagine that ice is probably fine by now. I uh, don't know exactly the conditions on the grade, but um, again, I sound like a broken record, but it's going to be uh, decent decent ice up there pretty soon, I'm sure. And the main lake, too, if it froze over, uh, it's going to be going to be uh, definitely walkable soon, and, and it won't be long before folks are out there on, with ATVs. Uh, haven't heard much from Portage up to the Dells. Uh, some folks were getting some walleyes up above the Dells, you know, in the, in the river up here. Uh, but I got to imagine some of that's got to be capped over now too and hard to get a boat through there. Um, Castle Rock dams and Pettenwell dams haven't heard much. 
I have heard that there's ice across Castle Rock and Petwell. Um, I don't know what condition that's in. I know some of the back bays on both of these lakes have been had folks on them for a little bit now. So I imagine a lot of those areas are uh, fishable. Same thing over to the Mississippi. Heard about folks on the um, backwaters here up and down the river for uh, last week or more. Um, don't know necessarily about, uh, you know, the, the bigger areas, you know, bigger water, DeSoto Bay and that. I, I, I don't really know what the conditions over there are, but um, won't be long, just like all the other spots before people get out. Over to Milwaukee, same thing with the rivers over there. Um, not great access with the ice coming through, but of course, um, you know, the harbor down here by, let's see, where are we, Summerfest? Uh, you know, you got the lagoons down here and the harbor where um, folks can have been, uh, I heard that's iced over. Oh, there it is um, in McKinley Park. And th these areas down here have got um, some ice and I've seen some, uh, you know, Instagram stuff with folks catching some nice uh, brown trout out of there. So, you know, if you want to give that a look, that's a totally different way to fish, you know, style of fishing and, and fish to catch some giant, giant brown trout come out of there um, every year. Uh, don't really know much about anything else, I guess. So kind of a short report. Uh, what are we, 20, uh, no, not even, uh, 14 days away from trout season opening back up. Uh, hard to think about that now with this frigid cold, but um, not long uh, not long to wait there. So, um, it, you know, we'll, maybe we'll have some early season trout to report. But um, like I said uh, earlier, happy holidays to everybody. Post your comments and um, catches below if you like or let us know what you're doing. And, and, and again, if it's current ice report, give us a call here at the shop, 608-241-4225 uh, for current ice conditions. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, and we will talk to you next week. Stay warm out there.